A historic Dunkirk building came crashing down, sending dust and debris flying into the air. Two people working at that building narrowly escaped, leaving for lunch just minutes before that collapse. News 4's George Rickard has more from witnesses who say this sounded like an explosion. George? Well, it fell like a ton of bricks, many tons of bricks, in a busy part of the city of Dunkirk. But amazingly, no one was hurt. Just the sound it made was deafening. It was a roar. It was just after noon. Bob Velvo was working in his motorcycle shop right next to the portion of the Coburn block that collapsed. I heard a stump, and then my God, a sound. I don't know. I couldn't decide if it was a train coming through the building or if it was even an earthquake. Man, I see bricks falling like rain. And oh, the dust kicking up was phenomenal. Glenn McLaughlin shot this video with his drone and sent it to us after the collapse on Central Avenue in Dunkirk. It was built in 1868, and the portion of the building that collapsed housed a food pantry and furniture store operated by rural ministries. There was two people working in the building today. They had just left uh, a matter of minutes before to go to lunch. It's kind of a traumatic thing. You, you don't know what you're going to find when you go out there. While that sound at noon may have caught Bob by surprise, the fact that this collapse does not surprise him. Not one bit. Not one bit. He believes an old brick wall on the west end wasn't short upright, and then a truck backed into it last month. I was waiting for this to happen, but. I wasn't sure if it was going to be this soon or not. Anytime something like this happens, there's a there's a concern for what's going to happen next. Red Cross volunteers showed up on scene to help the 30 residents who live in the remaining upstairs apartments. 17 of them are sleeping at SUNY Fredonia for the night. We're going to help them with some medicine. There's a lot of uh, medi medications that are in the building that they can't get right now. It will probably be a matter of days before a structural engineer can determine what caused this and whether those 30 residents are safe to go back into their apartments in the rest of the Coburn block.